Hi everyone, and welcome to the third and last part of our tutorial series on how to create your very own generators that can be used just like any of the other generators Autograph already provides. In the previous tutorial, we set up a control panel containing composition parameters connected to the parameters in the stack. The current project is the continuation of what we had before with additional controllers added in the control panel. Before exporting this project as a package, we have to define the main composition that'll be used as the generator. To do that, we have to select the composition, go to the Properties panel, and unfold the Export Options section. Right now, the main composition checkbox is checked, which tells us that this composition will be the main composition of our project. In this project, there's only one composition, but in the case we had multiple compositions, there could only be one main composition. If we set another composition as the main composition, when we come back to the previous one, we can see that it's automatically been unchecked. This is also the case for the other compositions of the project. Let's delete these extra compositions we used as examples. Once we set this composition as the main composition, we can go in the File menu and select Export as Package. A Help panel appears that sums up the steps necessary to create a generator or modifier from this project. Right now we're just going to focus on creating a generator. The first thing we have to do is assign a plugin ID, which is a unique ID assigned to the generator. Usually we start this plugin ID with the word com, C-O-M, followed by a period. Then we can add our company name, or whatever you like. Then we can add my generators, for example, always keeping this separated with a period, and we can finish off by naming our plugin, Dirty Lens. You can add a subcategory to better organize the generators you create. If the generators are internal within your company, you can organize them in a group with your company name, for example. You can also add icons to categories in SVG or PNG formats to add your company logo, for example. You can add a version number so that you can modify your generator over time. And finish off by inputting its name here, which is Dirty Lens. To better identify our generator, we can add an icon in SVG or PNG format and it'll appear on the list of generators. To do that, we can click on the three dots to the right, which will open a window where we can select our icon in SVG format representing a fingerprint. The last option here lets us embed documentation for our generator in HTML format. So here, for example, I've prepared a folder with an HTML structure to document my generator. This HTML file can contain just simple text, or it could have a more complex structure like this. So we'll go back into Autograph, click on the three dots to go into our folders, and select the HTML folder, which contains the file index.html. After clicking on Open, all of the fields for our generator, including the optional ones, have been filled. So we can go ahead and click on the Export button, and from now on, when we click on the plus button in the timeline, our new Dirty Lens generator with its fingerprint icon appears on the list of generators. We can also find this generator in the Generators menu at the top of the interface under Packages, My Company, Dirty Lens. When pressing the Export button, Autograph creates a file on the hard drive under Documents, Left Angle, Autograph, My Packages. Here's where we'll see the file with the name of our plugin ID. The file extension is .agt, as in Autograph Template. This AGT file contains the project as well as all the resources it uses, including the icon and the documentation. These elements are compressed and encrypted into a single file that lets us contain the entire project while rendering resources inaccessible for other use. Soon, Left Angle will be opening an online shop where you'll be able to sell your very own templates securely as they'll only be linked to the license of the user who purchases them.
Now if we create a new project, we can just click on the plus button in the timeline and select our dirty lens generator. If we open up the source of this layer, we can click on the generator, go to the properties panel and see all of the parameters that we had put in the control panel. For example, we can see the overall opacity, the number of fingerprints, the minimum and maximum opacity and scale values, the rotation values, and basically all of the parameters that'll let us control this generator. If we click on the question mark at the top right, the documentation will be unzipped and open up in your browser so you can access it. It's important to remember that this AGT file autograph template contains the project as well as the project resources, its icon and the documentation, all packaged, encrypted and compressed so it can be easily shared. In the first tutorial of this series, when we set up the project, we defined the position of these elements so that they could be adapted to any format. If we disable clipping in the viewer, we can see that the noise we used for the dust goes on infinitely. And if we change the format in the viewer, the fingerprint positioning will adapt to the new format. To crop the part of the image that's outside of the current format used by the composition, we can just open up the generator's parameters and switch the adjust to source format on. By doing this, our generator will be limited to the format of the composition using it. Also in the first video in this tutorial series, we deleted the last visibility keyframes for each layer so that they would continue infinitely. If we change the composition duration to 20 minutes, for example, we can drag the generator's last visibility point to increase its duration without limit. So this is how you can create your own generators without having to write a single line of code, and you can build on these tools over time. In a future tutorial, we'll go over how you can create your own modifiers. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more autograph tutorials.